Right, hey up guys, hopefully this is going to work, I'm filming this on my iPhone, don't know what the quality is like, it's the first time I've tried it, but here we go, this is the response to Ed's Top 3 Tuesday, the subject this week is games that consumed you, now as he was saying, you know, some people get consumed by every game they play, I'm not like that, I can dip into a game for a few hours here and there, take something special to really eat away all of my free time, but a few games have done that, and these are the ones that I've picked for this list, although there's obviously several more that could go on there as well, legitimately. And these are games that are probably going to be on a lot of people's lists, but here we go. The first one is Championship Manager. That is a soccer, or to give it its proper name, football management simulator. And it's a very specific um, edition of that game. It is the 1998 to 99 championship man edition um there was something just so uh, user friendly about that edition and it's the one that uh, blue tonic uses for his uh, youtube gaming community um football uh, championship manager series and i really love watching that it brings back a lot of memories from playing that game myself and the reason i liked it so much is just yeah like i said so user friendly once you know the game inside out um you know quickly um, going from uh, between the menus and the options and the different upgrades and the different ways you can manipulate and improve your squad is so compelling. It's just, it, it, it ate up months of my time. It was absolutely just it's so addictive. Um, the quick fix of seeing the results of your um, ch changes in squad tactics, changes in management, uh, you know, the transfer market, uh, the, the way that the, uh, the matches were just high, you can, if you want them high octane, you can set them to quite fast and it, it's, it, it moves along at such a brisk pace uh, that there's always something happening. There's always, you've always got all these five or six balls in the air in terms of uh, trying to improve your squad and your results. And it's just, you, you never get bored. And that is a game that you can play for a whole day right through the middle of the night make yourself uh tired as fuck for the next day at work or whatever and uh you just you just it feels like minutes have passed so championship manager 98 to 99 that edition specifically because it was just so user friendly and just the one i played the most that one is my first pick and i tried to play that game on the xbox as well but it can't be played on a console it needs to have that quick um movement through the menus with the mouse and the keyboard uh, and with on a PC it was just a lot quicker on the consoles it was just painstakingly slow not the same game at all did not enjoy it one bit uh, although I did play it for a bit because it's still championship manager but it needs to be played on a PC rambled on too long about that one the next one is Minecraft now I was a fairly late convert to this game uh, but when I did find it, it that was it all my gaming time, pretty much all my free time, was taken up by playing Minecraft. I mean, it was just so addictive. The freedom that you have in that game, the feeling of just the open-ended end, open -ended nature of the game, where you can go anywhere, do anything, build anything, the raw adventuring and just going out and discovering something that you know is going to be unique, because of course those worlds are uniquely generated, and uh, you know the cave systems and the, the, the danger that you feel as well from... Uh, you know, going on these long treks and uh, <laughs> the balance between collecting and getting back to somewhere safe and all the rest of it and the invention and the freeform nature of it is just superb. I mean, there's some videos on this channel of when I first discovered it and you can hear me waxing lyrical about that game quite a lot. Um, yeah, when I first, uh, I was just taken by it. Um, now, there's a few videos on my channel, like I said, uh, showing some of the stuff that I did and got quite a lot done, made quite a lot on Minecraft. Uh, but that all came to a shuddering halt when I dropped my old laptop and lost my game world. And the next uh, laptop that I got was an Apple Mac, an Apple, an Apple Book, um, a MacBook Pro, that's the one. And uh, I couldn't transfer the game save. I didn't have the game save. I wasn't. I just. I, I would have had to start from scratch. And I tried a couple of times, but I could never get Minecraft to work smoothly and quickly on my MacBook Pro. Now I know Lactabilius Prime did give me some tips on how to do that. I never quite got around to making that happen. And it's probably for the best because uh, it's only because I lost my game save um, after I dropped my laptop that I stopped playing Minecraft after it had eaten up a good couple of months of my life if not a few months, I can't remember, but Minecraft, unbelievable, and it's been such a long time since I played it, when I do finally go back to it, which I'm sure I will, there are going to be so many updates that it's going to be a very different and fresh experience, so I'm looking forward to that. On the Xbox, 
similar kind of deal with uh, the PC versus console for Championship Manager. It just doesn't feel the same on Xbox. The it's not as, you need a mouse to be able to do things quickly, to build, to dig, whatever. It's just so it's just it's that it's just everything. Everything's just a little bit more laborious with a joypad. Everything's a little bit slower. The worlds are obviously smaller, and it's just not the same. So um, yeah, again, it's a game that needs to be played on PC, in my opinion. Um, Anyway, so that's Minecraft number two. Now the third one, and he, by the way, these are all uh, games that kind of have that replay value. That games that don't really end. Uh, I mean, you know, there's lots of games that have eaten up my time while in, during the, in the duration of playing the game from start to finish, like the stories, the RPGs, that kind of thing. But I'm picking three games here that don't really end, in in which case have just eaten up ridiculous amounts of time because you can't really finish them. Uh, although I did kind of finish Minecraft, I did get to the end and beat the Ender Dragon, but it's not really finishing it. But anyway, the third game on this list I'm going to pick is Rock Band. I'm going to throw Guitar Hero in there, it's basically the same thing. Um, those games, just so fun, so visceral, such a f unique, fun gaming experience. And um, yeah, you get to be a rock star, and that's brilliant for someone lazy like me, who has a guitar, but hasn't really got the patience to learn it properly. Um, so I can put half the effort in to Rock Band and pretend I'm good at guitar but they're really fun I uh, made a few rock band videos um, and when I get uh, proficient at editing on, an, on a Mac uh, I will definitely do some more rock band videos because they're a lot of fun and um, it's long overdue um, the ones that are on my channel right now a little bit cringe but they were a few years ago uh, I think when I do them again might be a little bit less uh, less cringe worthy maybe that's just me looking back at it maybe, maybe you don't think they're cringe they're a lot of fun so rock band anyway Rock Band is the third one on the list, so Championship Manager, 98, 99 season, Minecraft and Rock Band. So that's it. Alright guys, bye bye. Nitro.